in the city of New Orleans. Attorney Lawson Russell had a client he knew was guilty. We were going to win, aren't we? He not only threw away the case. Was that before or after you stripped her, sodomized her, strangled her? You are in contempt, sir. He threw away his career. So what are your plans? Are you going to sit up in here and stoop? I'm going to go down to Key West. In a place far from home. Mr. Russell. He met a man who wrote a brilliant book. That is novel. My first about lawyers. What happened? Well, it appears an old man had a heart attack. He put his name on a bestseller he didn't write. Congratulations. I'm very impressed. But the novel he stole was fact, not fiction. What's the person? Who wants to know? I do. Hey! Can you tell me what's going on? It's about your book, Russell. What about it? It seems it's all true. Nobody had to tell you these details because you were there, Mr. Russell. You killed those men. You are being investigated for five counts of homicide. I didn't write the book. What? It was given to me by an old man I met at Key West. You expect me to believe that? Now, Lawson Russell becomes the suspect. Lawson Russell, you're under arrest. The rabbit's loose! Hunted by the police and the FBI. New Orleans Police Department is actively seeking Lawson Russell in connection with the murders of five prominent attorneys. <laughs> book is going to go through the roof. When a bestseller leads to a double cross, Loss and Russell must discover who framed him and why. I mean, what's the sense of committing a perfect crime? No one knows about it. Academy Award winner, Cuba Gooding Jr. Academy Award nominee, Tom Berenger. Academy Award nominee and Golden Globe winner, Marianne Jean-Baptiste. And Golden Globe nominee, Eric Stoltz. The murder of crows.